All right, guys, welcome back to Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we are going to do the torch method. Um, I am doing this one by special request from uh, some members in my Facebook group. They asked me to show them this in a nice, quick, and thorough manner. So here we go, guys. All right, so this cup, I've got my chemical mask on because we're going to be heating up this epoxy. I'm going to wear my gloves for safety um, because when you heat epoxy with a torch, it creates vapors, and I don't want to be breathing those in. So I've got my chemical mask on. My, my, I'm just wearing gloves just in case. Uh, it's not a necessity at this point because it's really just gonna, it's not going to actually be wet epoxy. But, I mean, there's no harm in wearing them, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this coat um, cup, I'm working on my turn of the day, guys. It's not going to be spinning. Um, I'm just going to be rotating the cup as I go by hand as I need the space. Um, I got a lot, sorry, a little glitter contaminant there. Actually, I think that was on his glove. Um, anyway, we're going to be glittering the cup, so it doesn't matter. So this has one layer of epoxy on it. It's a, not a thick layer. It's not, it's not a hang method layer, but it's not a thick layer. It's kind of one of those in-between layers. I've got my torch, I've got my brush, and I've got my holographic silver uh, glitter. Um, it doesn't look super holographic here, but it's very, very, very sparkly in real life. Okay. So we are going to, it's very simple. We're just going to jump right in. What you want to do is you want to take your torch and you want to heat a small section of the epoxy up. This epoxy has been uh, cured for about 12 hours. Um, and so it's firm to the touch. Uh, but when you heat it with the a torch, it will soften up the epoxy. And that makes it so that you can uh, put on your glitter. Okay, I'm going to throw, I just realized I'm going to throw a paper towel under there, just in case. Just catch a little fallout. I wasn't going to catch the fallout, but my anxiety doesn't want me to just let it fall. So, okay, so we're just going to, it doesn't take a lot, guys. You don't want to melt the epoxy. You just want to heat it up. Okay, we just want to heat it up and brush on the glitter. You can see the glitter just sticks down to it. It grabs onto it like it's almost like a spray adhesive is on the cup. And you can tell when you hit a spot that's not soft because the glitter won't stick. I can't, I don't know, is, it, is I hope the halo is coming across very beautifully on camera. It's gorgeous in person. You want to be careful not to go um, over your um, glitter with the heat because the glitter um, will melt. So you just want to, if you do touch it just very, very fast, and right on the edge. Okay. So this is just a silicone makeup brush, guys. It's what I use to apply my epoxy. The glitter kind of sticks to it when you dip it down in there, and then it grabs onto that epoxy as you run it over the epoxy. So this, this brush works really, really well. But if you don't have one of these guys yet, you can, well, I'll link, I will put a link for this um, down in the description box below. That's gorgeous, you guys. The halo is really showing up well. So I'm just hand turning that. This method really, really, really works the best with this halo glitter because it helps it really show off the halo of the glitter. It's really pretty. So... Yeah, we were discussing this method in the my Facebook group yesterday, um, and I had not done a tutorial on it, so here we go. Um, I already have an idea. I'm pretty sure I'm going to turn this into a mermaid cup. I have a decal in mind, but I want to see it with the silver glitter all complete, because as you guys know, my tutorials are always a work in progress. I have an idea of what I want to do, and then it generally changes as I see the cup coming uh, together as a, in a whole, as a whole. So 
So right there, guys, the, um, the, the, uh, the uh, torch heated up that epoxy just a little too much. But it was all right. I just put more glitter over the top of where the glitter kind of melted back a little bit. And it was very, very subtle. You probably didn't even see it on camera. Um, but you can see, I just dip in, get a little, when I run, start running out of glitter, I just dip in and add it. And get some more. And we're going to spin the cup. It's just on a football inside there, guys. And I didn't put um, any double-sided tape on that football. Sorry, guys. i got to keep my torch off camera because it's got to be upright. I don't want to put that hot nozzle down on my fur. So this method you use it's very similar to the hang method in the sense that you don't use you use less glitter um doing it this way which is nice always and same as with the hang method you don't use as much glitter when you do the hang method to apply it so i can feel that it's running out it did not get heated right here With this method, you guys, you get a beautiful holographic on this. Um, I will, when the cup is done, I will take it off and show you. All right. And try to get it really well in the lighting so you can see the really beautiful hollow that's going on, halo that's going on. Holographic halo, however you want to say it. You can see some of that smoke, guys. That is why I'm wearing the face mask. Those vapors cannot, I don't know, but I, there's no way that that can be healthy for you to breathe in. And even though my workshop is very well ventilated, I just safety first. I want to live a long life for my babies. I want to see those girls get married. I have to live long enough to get grandbabies. Holy smokes, because these kids are working us. So I got to have the joy of grandkids. I tell my kids every day, you better get have babies so I can enjoy grandkids. Babies, babies. Right. My kiddos love to play in the glitter in my craft space. But they don't get to come out here very often because they almost always have epoxy turning. But sometimes they get in here early in the morning when I don't got anything going on. I make a mess in my workshop. It's pretty awesome. I love it actually watching them. They have so much fun. My little glitter girls. You guys, I have a lot of tutorials coming out. Um, I've got some really, really fun uh, festival cups you guys are going to freak out over. And I'm sure it will create an incredible amount of inspiration for you guys when you see it. I'm super duper excited. I've got it in editing right now. I am lined up to be doing the wood grain with the uh, Minwax. Just the, uh, what is it called? Uh, wood grain. No, wood stain. Actual real wood stain as a wood uh, wood tutorial. Um, that'll be coming out. Um, I'm working on a bullet tumbler. It's really, really cool. But you guys requested this one yesterday, so I said, heck yeah, I'll do it. So here we are. We're going to crack this one out really quick so that my, my Facebook group can jump on this method and really get to go and have fun with it. All right. We're just doing her butt now. She needs a she needs to have a pretty butt. And you can go back through this, guys, and look to see if there's anywhere that's really shallow with glitter. And just reheat it with just a touch of heat in that area and just add more glitter. It's, it's a pretty 
simple, straightforward process. Just heat the epoxy and uh, apply your glitter. I'm gonna reheat that just a little bit right here. It's a little shallow. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna take it off the turner just for a second so you guys can see it. Whoop. All right, do you guys see the beautiful hollow happening there? I hope my lights are giving you a really good reflection of that. It's, it's absolutely stunning in person, all right? Okay, so now you don't need to seal this. I only used one glitter color. Um, you really only need to seal glitter if you're doing more than one glitter color. So I am gonna uh, just get this sucker going on the turner and we will get back um, I'm just going to put a thin coat of epoxy over it and let it roll, and then I'm going to apply my decal. All right, guys? We'll be back. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is we are going to coat this cup in epoxy. So you heard me um, earlier talking about having a layer of epoxy on there to have this cup started and do this method. Um, but I understand that some of you are, might be just seeing this video and have never seen me work with a cup before, so you don't know really what I'm doing. So what I've got going on is... I mean, this one I'm using Pro Marine. It's equal parts A and B. They send you when you order it, they or you do you two jugs and you mix them together equal parts. That's Pro Marine. There's many other varieties. I will link a few of the different ones that I use uh, in the description below this tutorial. So just look there. Um, also, if you have any questions, join my Facebook group because we're very, very thorough in discussing this and coaching people through using it. Um, it's very intimidating to start, but once you get the hang of it, it's really, really not that bad. You just kind of figure out what the quirks of epoxy are and you learn to work around those. All right, so this is just A and B mixed. Um, uh, everyone does this differently. I just do it vigorously. I always make sure I scrape the edges, make sure I scrape my spoon and keep stirring. Um, that way you get all, because if you get epoxy that's not mixed properly, it won't cure. It will stay tacky and sticky um, and give you a gooey spot. So um, this is just A and B mixed together. I don't worry about bubbles because I'm gonna go over with my torch and the torch will pop all the bubbles. Um, so I am going to go ahead and put you guys on high speed and you can watch me apply this. Okay guys, we're back. You can see I've got a layer of epoxy on the top. You guys watched me apply it. It was a nice thin layer. Um, uh, I did it in high speed. If you've never seen me apply epoxy before, you can jump on pretty much any one of my other tutorials and see me do it. Uh, if you don't know how to find my other tutorials, I've been getting this a lot. Right below this uh, video, it says Little Lee and Rose, and I think it says how many subscribers I have or something like that. Just click on Little Lee and Rose, and it will take you to my page. I have a ton of videos there for you guys. I put a video out almost every day. Um, I'm trying to keep up with how fast you guys are making amazing creations, um, and I really want you guys to build your businesses fast or just make gorgeous cups, if it, even if you're just a hobbyist. Uh, so I'm trying to put all these tips, tricks, and fun ways to do it. Uh, okay, so now we're going to move on. So you can see we're just going to let this spin now until it's pretty much cured up, and then we're going to add the decal. So this is the decal I printed. Um, I, I've been waiting for a cup that's like a solid color that will match this, and I think this is going to be the perfect cup for that. So this is just printed on white sticker paper, guys. It is white waterproof sticker paper. Um, it is nothing fancy. This is not water slide. This is a lot cheaper than water slide and it gives you the same effect. Oops, sorry guys, because it is um, a clear paper. So I printed this out and then I did not touch it. I let it sit for about half an hour and let the ink dry really, really well. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put, I use inkjet, so I gotta, I've got a seal. Um, I'm working on getting a laser printer, but I'm doing a lot of research before I buy one because uh, they range anywhere from $100 to like $500. So I'm just making sure I get what I want. Um, so I only have an inkjet right now, so it has to be sealed because it's not, the inkjet uh, ink is not waterproof. So now what I'll do is I'll take this outside and spray it with clear uh, spray paint. Uh, I use a matte finish, but it doesn't really matter, guys. Um, I just use matte finish because it's a better grip for the epoxy to grab onto. Um, and so I'll do like three very light coats, and then I'm going to run this through my Cricut and put it on, it's on cr uh, printing cut. So my Cricut printed this out, and now I'll put it in my Cricut, and it will cut it out. Um, if you don't know what a Cricut is, it is a vinyl cutting machine. It is super duper rad. Um, it's going to cut around the exact edges of this uh, decal. And you will see in the future in just a little bit what it looks like when I've got this all cut out and we're applying it as a sticker. Um, and it's a really, really cool uh, uh, 
tool to use for your uh, Tumblr making. Um, I will have a link to a Cricut down below in the description menu as well, so you can check it out and see uh, if you're interested in. All right, guys? So I'm going to go cut this out, and we will be back. Okay, guys, we are back. This sucker has uh, cured overnight. It is beautiful. The holographic, I'm not sure if you see the holographic the on that cup. It came out beautiful. Um, so now we're going to add our decals. I was going to do this one. And then I realized I accidentally used my full spectrum holographic instead of my lavender holographic. So this is not, I mean, it would work fine, but I'm really picky. So this is going to go, I'm just going to save this and do a, a, one of my um, lavender holographic ones. Um, so this is the broad spectrum. So this one, I mean, this is the full spectrum. So this one has the greens, oranges, yellows, purples, blues, all of the colors in it. And I thought this would be prettier as a mermaid cup. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, um, I'm gonna do this. It's, it's just this gorgeous, like aqua kind of teal color. And I, it says saltwater heart. And I'm gonna apply that on one side. Whoops, it didn't rub hard enough. It didn't really rub it at all, actually. All right, so we're just gonna pull that off. I'm gonna do this one um, a vertical because the other side is gonna be, I don't use my lines on my paper, guys. I literally just do this by eyeballing. And you're probably screaming, that's good. There we go. So you just rub it out. This I cut out on my Cricut, guys. If you don't have a Cricut, like a vinyl cutting machine, it's no big deal. Um, even uh, Hobby Lobby puts their stickers on sale constantly. So you can just um, grab any kind of mermaid sticker from Hobby Lobby. And why isn't it sticking? So you can grab stickers at Hobby Lobby or Michael. Sorry, when I concentrate like that, I stop talking. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna kind of work it off the paper here. Um, so because this one is not sticking super great down to the cup, it might be because of the glitter. I mean, I've got a layer over it, but you can still feel the glitter through. So it might not be getting full contact. So I will just seal this one in, no big deal. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. There we go, saltwater heart. Beautiful. I love it. That is so sparkly. So sparkly. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our giant mermaid and she's gonna wrap almost all the way around the cup. Uh, I made her quite large. So I'm gonna, I'm just looking down to see the middle point and I'm gonna put that directly down. Sorry, you've got my back of my head in that shot. Okay, so I'm gonna put that directly down so I know the saltwater heart, so this is right in the front. Um, I thought I had printed this out on my clear, but I, um, I did not. I printed it out on my glossy white sticker paper, but it'll work just fine. So this is the glossy white. Sometimes you guys see me work with this and it is the um, matte finish. Um, I decided to do this one just to show you guys kind of the difference. It's not too big of a difference because it all goes shiny under the epoxy anyway. I don't want to tear her, so I lift her very carefully. You usually see me do this with uh, tweezers, but she's so big and bulky, I figured I don't need, she doesn't have any too many small details. So I'm gonna hold the fin with my pinky finger. See, it's stuck to my pinky so it doesn't drop down and hit the cup. And that way I can really work on putting her to the surface here. So I'm gonna drop her down smooth it over. She's right up on that edge at the top. I might even have to trim just a tiny bit. Work these pieces down. Very slow and steady. Anytime I try to do anything with a cup where I rush, it never ends well. So I'm now just very patient about stuff. And I still, to this day, rush stuff on my cups, even though I know it's not going to end well. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so beautiful. So I will end up trimming this just a little bit off the top. I will probably use my fabric trimmer. All right, so there she is. So there we got the beautiful, gorgeous mermaid on one side and our saltwater heart on the other. And you can see she kind of peeks around on each side. So you can see that she's coming around. So you don't have very much of this cup that's not covered with something beautiful. Okay, so 
I'm gonna grab my, we're gonna try something new because I've never trimmed a sticker with this thing, but let's give it a whirl. I'll be All right, right guys, here we go. So if you've never seen me use this, um, I use this in a lot of my fabric cups, all of my fabric cups, so not a lot, all of them. Um, actually, let me backtrack. So this sticker is, um, this was done on the glossy uh, sticker paper. So you can see it's got a glossier finish and it's waterproof. So this one, how we talk, always talk about my sticker paper with the matte finish, it goes slightly transparent. This one will not do that because this is a waterproof sticker. So this one will not go transparent. This will be very similar to a white water slide um, where it does not go see-through. Um, so, but I used a, a inkjet on this, so this is sealed. So what I did was I printed it out, I let it sit for 30 minutes, then I ran it through my Cricut through the cut mode. I did this on Cricut with printing cut. So I printed it out through my Cricut, through my printer, um, and then I put it in my Cricut machine and then I cut it and then before I peeled it up or anything I just quickly just dusted it with um, the uh, triple thick or clear sealer or clear spray um, Just to seal that in because inkjet ink is not waterproof even though this, pa this paper is the ink isn't and it will run I already tested it um, And so then I let it completely dry and then I just peeled it up This is not like a water slide you can actually cut the paper first and then spray with water slides you don't want to do that you on you don't want to spray it after you've cut it because it will seal down the edges but this is not the same so we're not trying to remove this from its backing we just put it straight down on there okay moving on because i know i'm gonna get asked a million questions about that i will link the paper that i use guys it's great paper it's very easy to work with and um you can see all the little details came up really really easy um, and if you have your cricut calibrated right and you leave the bleed on it, you get no white edges it's just beautiful okay so, so that will all be linked down below in the description box of this tutorial so you can see all the stuff. And I will also link this tool because I get, every time I use this, I get asked a million questions. So this is from wickedshimmersupply.com. She is the inventor of this tool. She's the original maker of this tool. She's been knocked off a couple, by a couple companies, but she is the original maker. I love supporting small businesses, guys. So I'm throwing her name out there because she's super rad. She's got gorgeous glitter. Um, and this is adjustable. So it comes with a bunch of these different little washers. So if you can take it up or down and um, make your cut higher or lower. I like a really low cut when I do my fabrics. Um, and so this can cut. I know that it will cut edging tape. I've only ever cut fabric. So we're going to try it out on the sticker. I'm actually going to go from the middle of the sticker out. So we're going to try it on this. So what it is is just a razor blade that's mounted and held firmly in place. Now you don't have to worry too much about cutting through your epoxy because we are going to do another layer of epoxy. And so that, um, it will just fill in the little gap of the scratch, just like it would if you um, uh, brain farted. If you uh, sand, your paper, sand your cup, it will, all the next layer of epoxy will fill in that little gash. Okay, so there she is. She's beautiful. She's got a nice straight line. You see how beautiful that straight line is, guys? So if you are taping off your cups or you're trying to cut the edge of your fabrics, um, this is amazing. So you can put tape down and then you can actually cut the tape. So like you can l raise this up. So let's say you wanted your tape to go to right here and then you wanted a perfect line. You can just add washers to this, put the tape down and cut the edge of the tape and it will cut a perfect and then just remove whatever's on this side. And then you have a perfect line around your cup. It's, I mean, this tool is amazing. So, and it's not expensive guys. So if you go to wickedshimmersupply.com, I will link it, um, use the, the code Little Lee. Uh, in all caps, Little Lee, just like my name, and uh, you will get a discount too, guys. And she's rad. Then you're su supporting a small business. So this cup is super cute. I might end up just keeping this one for myself. I always say that. Um, but I also have like nine people in mind who would love this as a gift. So maybe I'll hang on to it for gift. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's beautiful. I'm going to get this under epoxy, and we, I, we will come back with the finished product. So I, I, I'm going to get this under epoxy, guys, but I want to just mention when this goes under epoxy, it's going to explode these colors. It's going to be really, really, really cool. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. But I want to mention like it, it, it kind of doles out as is under the uh, clear spray, uh, clear spray that seals in the paints. But once I put this under epoxy, it's going to get super shiny. So we're going to get set up and we will get to All that. right, guys, um, I sprayed a clear sealer over the saltwater heart just because it was having a little bit of a hard time sticking down. I was pretty confident that it was going to be fine, but just in case, again, no rushing. I don't want to rush because I always screw it up. So I just know if I just rushed and didn't do that step, something would happen, even though it probably wouldn't. So if you've never seen me mix epoxy, guys, I'm going to go through it really quick for you guys. Again, if you have seen this, you can zhuzh right past this and fast forward it. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm mixing the part A and part B. 
Uh, the description, if when you go to the description underneath this tutorial, I have a list of different types of epoxies that you can do. I have different sizes and prices. Um, that way you can decide for yourself which one you like and it gives you an, a direction to go. Because a few people in my Facebook group have accidentally bought that five minute epo epoxy. And but before they even get it stirred in their cup, it's hardened. You don't want that. It's not the correct epoxy. You wanna be using FDA compliant epoxy. Um, because that you this is something that people are going to be putting their mouths on and so you want to just be really safe for everybody that's going to be drinking from the cup so i'm just mixing you mix it in equal parts uh, m no i shouldn't i misspoke most epoxies are mixed equal parts some epoxies uh are part uh are two-thirds to one-third so two to one but most all the epoxies i use are mixed uh, equal parts so i misspoke there but there are epoxies that are two to one but mine all the ones i use are mixed equal parts so I just measure them out in these medicine cups. They have like two and a half mils, five mils, 10 mils. So I do um, 10 mils of A and 10 mils MLLs, and milliliters of B, and then I mix it together. Now, there's a lot of techniques to this. Some people warm it up before they um, mix it um, because they're trying to avoid bubbles. I don't even care about bubbles because I'm gonna pop them with my uh, handy dandy torch. So I just stir really, really fast. You see me scraping the edges, I scrape the bottom. I scrape the pop popsicle stick because if it's not completely mixed, guys, it won't cure correctly and you'll have sticky patches and bumps and all kinds of issues. Um, or it might not cure, the whole cup could end up tacky and then you've got to strip it and start over, okay? Some people will tell you, oh, just add a layer over the top. That does not fix the problem. If you have a layer that does not cure up and it stays tacky, putting another layer over the top will not cure that layer underneath. The layer underneath will always be soft. The layer on top will cure, the new layer will cure if you've mixed it correctly, but the first layer will never cure, so that is a defective cup. If you're using it for personal use, it doesn't matter, but if you're selling it to somebody, you need to make sure that you're selling them a quality cup with a quality base that's not gonna just goo off and mess up and delaminate down the, down the road when they go to use this cup, okay guys? So I need to work quicker, I'm talking, I gotta make, get my epoxy going. So I'm gonna uh, put you on high speed, basically, I'm just gonna smooth this on with my silicone brush then I'm going to go through and use my torch to pop the bubbles, um, and we will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, you just saw me apply the epoxy uh, with the silicone brush. These are great. Um, you can just wipe it off with a paper towel and reuse it every time. And they're even better because if you forget and let it sit around, the epoxy does not stick to silicone. So. If it dries on top of this brush, you just bend it and the silicone cracks right off. That's the same as this mat that I have under. This is a silicone baking mat. I put it under here so it catches all the drips. And uh, then when it drips, it just dries on here and I can just peel it and pop it off down the road. So this is, silicone is your best friend when you're working with epoxy guys because it um, does not stick to it. It will stick to pretty much every other surface. I've got a beautiful little drop of silicone up there on my gorgeous hardwood here because I missed the mat and I dripped a piece. So, uh, but you saw me apply it all over. There's no special way. It's not like you have to go up and down only. You can put it all over, get it all on there. And then I'm gonna go through, this is a, just a kitchen torch. This will again be in the description down below. I'm gonna turn it, turn it on and I'm just gonna go over it very quickly. You don't wanna hover on anything. Um, you wanna move, move fast because you can burn epoxy very easy and it does not look pretty. And you also don't want to melt the glitter underneath. So pretty much all I'm doing is popping bubbles to get a glossy surface. And get rid of any bubbles. Because the bubbles, even though you don't see them because of the glitter, they will add texture to the outside and you can feel them. They're going to be little rough spots on there. Um, you can see how absolutely gorgeous this is. I'm in love with this cup. Love the holographic. I'm loving the decal I picked, the color. I love the sticker. It's incredible. So... Oh, again, as always, my uh, tutorial, I had a plan in my mind of the sticker I was going to put on, and then I saw the actual cup as it was coming along and completely shifted gears. So now we're doing saltwater heart, or another mermaid cup. It's gorgeous. Okay, guys, we're going to let this sit and cure, and uh, we will be back to add the last few little embellishments. All right, guys, there she is. She's all done. She's under epoxy. It's gorgeous. There's not a single bubble on this one. Um, it just looks really, really, really beautiful. And you can see how gorgeous that sticker came out. It's waterproof. The ink is fine. Um, but I did use a seal coat on that. 
Um, and then as we come around, you see the other gorgeous little decal. Um, so she's all finished. She's beautiful. I was going to add some extra little um, mermaid scales and stuff. And then I just really looking at the cup, I thought, you know what? I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to over decorate it. I want it to be very organic how it is. It's gorgeous. Um, so I just go ahead, going to go ahead and leave it. Um, I don't want it to be like every typical uh, mermaid cup we see with all the scales all over, which those are gorgeous. I love them. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just trying to throw a little something different out there. Um, you guys, if you are looking for this glitter and these decals, wickedshimmersupply.com is going to be doing a Little Ian Rose um, Ariel Emerges box. Um, so you'll be able to order the decals and the glitter all at once uh, from her shop. Use uh, discount code Little Lee, all in caps. Um, but I did want to bring the seer, see if we can get the good holographic lines on it, show you some of it in the color. It's just really beautiful. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but the holographic looks amazing under there. Um, all right, guys. So um, subscribe to the channel. This is Little Lee and Rose. We'd love to see you guys again on our other tutorials. We'll be filming almost daily and releasing as many vo videos as we could possibly get out there. Uh, I love doing this for you guys. It's super fun. Uh, subscribe. Check on that bell that's right next to the subscribe button. Um, that way you get notifications every time I drop a video. Uh, join my Facebook group. We have a lot of fun. The links are all in the drop down menu. Um, the link for all the glitter and the decals and all the supplies that I used in this tutorial will be available in the description menu underneath this tutorial tutorial. So go ahead and check that out. All the epoxies I use, heat guns, etc., etc., the gloves, the chemical mask, all that stuff, guys, I will have listed with links for you guys to keep it easy and simple for shopping in case you want to try this out. Um, if you haven't seen me before, check out all my other YouTube ch uh, channel tutorials. You can just click on Little Lee and Rose and it will take you to my channel and show you all the other rad stuff I've got for you guys. With that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys with the next tutorial. Bye, guys.